Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. For some reason in my comments, people have been asking me to do a Falcon Super Heavy. I think they're just trolling. And I don't want to do a Falcon Super Heavy. I think it's very mean of people to suggest that we should do a Falcon Super Heavy, knowing that probably boosters will die. And uh, yeah... Why? Why? Why do you guys want this? And the ultra heavy thing is right out, okay? That's just, that's just mean. Many boosters would die. But, okay, so you just certainly don't need me to slap two extra boosters on a Falcon Heavy, right? I mean, that's not a very good use of my talents. I can tell you why it's a stupid idea, but I could also give you another option. So the biggest problem is the upper stage of the Falcon 9, the way the Falcon 9 works and the reason why it works is because the upper stage does all the work. It, it does most of the Delta V to get to orbit, most of the Delta V overall for any given mission, and that allows the happy little boosters to return safely to a drone ship or to the launch site. And that's how it works. But if you've got a Falcon Super Heavy, you're probably using it to launch a heavier payload, and the heavier payload overburdens the normal Falcon 9 second stage, in which case it can't give enough Delta V, and the boosters die. So that's the problem. Uh, that's why you don't want a Falcon Super Heavy, and that's, yeah, yeah, that's the sad thing. Also, it's not very efficient because you're throttling down the core engines. And you're carrying all those poor little engines all the way to do absolutely nothing and possibly dunking them in the ocean. So, first of all, we're going to solve that problem by only having five engines. And on a Falcon Super Heavy, the core is going to die. The, the core is just going to die. Uh, we'll be lucky to get the boosters back, but because the core is going to die, we're only putting five engines on because they're going to be thrown down the entire way anyway. So, why even bother? Uh, why put uh, nine engines on there when you're just going to lose them and you're throttling them down? Uh, and then we have to address the upper stage issue. Now you notice how I placed the boosters and that's because of the ultra heavy idea uh, with six boosters. So I've left a space for the, for the extra two when we get to that. But obviously the problem is the second stage of Falcon 9. It's not got enough Delta V or heavier payloads. And uh, to fix this, you're not going to like this, but you asked for it. You asked for it. No, not that. I'm very angry right now. But I have, I have adjusted the second stage of the Falcon 9. It is now an S4B. See, now, with the extra Delta V, the S4B is not that much heavier than the, up, than the upper stage of Falcon 9. Actually, it's about the same. But it's much more efficient because, of course, it's a Hydrolox engine. So uh, we end up having a fair amount of Delta V out of it. And maybe, just maybe, we can send Apollo to the moon. I don't know. I think so. I think we can send Apollo to the moon. Uh, not Apollo with the lunar module. There's no lunar module here. But there's just the Apollo service module fully fueled. Can we send it to the moon and bring it back? I won't do the full bringing it back through the atmosphere and uh, recovery bit. I will attempt to reserve enough fuel in the Falcon 9 boosters so that they can return safely. Uh, so I'm planning to reserve about 15 seconds, which should be 10%, and then we'll see how it goes. Note that the sea level thrust weight ratio is vigorous uh, because we're not really burdening this with too much extra. And the Ultra Heavy, I don't even know why. I don't even know why you want an Ultra Heavy, but okay. Uh, uh, let's see about this. Alright folks, I just want to make clear this is all your fault. And there it is. Falcon Super Heavy, as I imagined it. Uh, which is better than probably anybody else has imagined it, which is why I'm here. So SAS on, Thrall is up, Ignition. You probably just wanted to see all the lag. From 45 engines. Well, not 45 anymore. 41 engines only. I think they're running. 
Okay. Probably the grid fins are gonna try and wiggle too. Oh, I'm using Katniss's uh, Cape Canaveral. Unfortunately, I can't figure out how to launch from Pad 39A, which is over there. Technically, we're not launching at the right time to transfer to the moon, but we'll figure that out. So yeah, otherwise this Katniss Cape Canaveral is looking good. I just wish I could launch from the pads. But Kerbal Constructs doesn't seem to be working right for that. We are past the speed of sound. Uh, looking pretty good. I really should disable those grid fins. Gotta say, 41 engines sure creates a lot of clutter on the list. I wonder if I can fix the shader on this part by adding Textures Unlimited just to that one part. I was fixing shaders by using Textures Unlimited before. I don't know if it'll work, but it might be interesting to try. Okay, so what we want is when the oxygen and kerosene is down to 10% on those, so I'll shut them down. I've got an action group. Now obviously if it was in expendable mode, the Falcon Super Heavy could probably do exactly what Saturn V did, because it's nearly as heavy. Ooh, those Cypertrons aren't exactly the way I want them to be. Uh, well, they'll figure it out. <laughs> um, they'll figure it out. So we reserve 10% or so on there. Now it's sort of in an awkward mode. Now remember, the stuff at the top here is about the same mass as this is supposed to be able to bear. It's just that it's a little bit wider. That's the only aspect of this that's a little bit dodgy. So I think we could actually get rid of the launch escape system now. You can see with the five engines that we have more than one G on separation of the boosters, so that's why I went with five here. Of course, if we can get Orion, uh, sorry, Apollo with its full service module to the moon, we can also get Orion with its service module to the moon, that's a given. And the only tricky thing about this is the recoverability of the boosters. Could you replace the S4B with the upper stage of an SLS Block 1B, the EUS? Probably, it's about the same mass. Though the long burn would be painful because it's got half the thrust. Less than half the thrust. There's a J2S that I've got on here. For full disclosure. Okay, separation. Pretty sure it is too fast for them to try and recover it. Not to mention it's got that inner stage on top that's a little bit obnoxious. Hmm, well, I don't know. That doesn't look great. We'll see, maybe the service module will have to do some of it. Start some fuel cells. Okay, shut down uh, 249 by 193. We don't have enough to transfer on the S4B stage, but we might with the service module. Another option would be to underfuel the service module a bit. We only need 1,600 meters per second in it, 800 to get into orbit around the moon, and 800 to come back. Um, I don't know about the delta V here right now. We'll see, because uh, it might be that it's reading the wrong amount. I thought that the, the Apollo command and service module had 2,800 meters per second on its own. So, after all, it has to get itself and the, and the lunar module into orbit around the moon, and then, of course, just itself back, but 1,753 wouldn't be enough for that. So I think there's something wrong with how it's reading it. 
Okay, uh, so given that, let me see where we're at. We're probably at a really bad time to transfer to the moon. Yeah, okay, but we'll, we'll have a theoretical off-plane transfer here. And again, we need 1,600 left in the service module minimum to make orbit around the moon and then return. And that's a tight orbit, of course, not a loose orbit. Well, it's not quite working out right now because of how bad our inclination is with respect to the moon. So uh, we'll just say, let's just do that much and that should be enough. Okay, so 55 minutes. Okay, it seems like the fuel is settled. Let's just go. We're not actually getting to the moon this time anyway. Well, now it's not even showing the stage Delta V, so mystery! It looks like we need less out of the service module than I thought. Alright, let's shut those down. Uh, separate off the panels, I think. Very slowly, I guess. Couple. Okay, I think we've got... I, I just want to make sure that we don't accidentally trigger more than I want to. Actually, I probably didn't want to do that. That's probably the service module. Uh, not the service module, the command module, RCS. You You can go back to being off. Okay. Oh, here we have 3,000 meters per second, so definitely enough. Much more than we needed. No problems. I was thinking it was 2,800. 3,100 is even better. But again, not quite enough for the lunar module if we were, if we want to continue recovering the boosters, but that's sort of where maybe Falcon Ultra Heavy comes in. So without uh, belaboring this point, let's take a look at that. Okay, well, admittedly, this definitely has crossed the line between the sublime and the ridiculous. But here we are. You see, the problem is, with six boosters, there's too much thrust-to-weight ratio. And in fact, right now, if we take a look at our surface thrust weight ratio is 1.44. If we only had the S4B stage on this, it would be much higher. So we have to burn down all the engines that we have on this Falcon Ultra Heavy by putting the S2 stage instead. But if we put the S2 stage plus the S4B stage, that's too much to put. So here we are. Now, obviously, this is much more than the actual Falcon core could possibly bear on top of it. Uh, but we will ignore that for now. The question is, can we get Apollo plus the lunar module to the moon like this? Here we go. Throttle up. SAS is on. And I'm not going to line up the moon or anything. We'll just get to the right altitude. Ignition. We're shaking the ground, it's an earthquake. I'll wait for the sound. All right. So once again, I'll attempt to shut down the engines at about 10%, uh, on the boosters, I mean. We're gonna get some serious lag now. Okay, once again, looking good. Grateful for this Cape Canaveral here. I've got a duplicate runway here, I know. I need to move that over there, basically. That's from the old uh, real launch sites mod. going steeper than I ought to. Well, to compensate for that, let's throw down during max Q and everything. That'll help. Uh, 
Okay, throttle up. I don't know about the coastlines over there. Um, somebody had said that updating scatter would help. It hasn't, really. The Sepatrons weren't really great last time. I don't know how they'll be this time. With the heavier burden, these boosters will actually end up closer to the KSC. So that's good. Okay, and getting close to 10%. Shut down. And separation. Ooh, ooh, that's not. Ooh. Oh, uh, the Sephirotrons on the S2 stage are also going. Alright, alright. That was complicated. Uh, they mostly seem intact, though. That's good. The core doesn't go for that much longer. It's had seven engines, and we had them burning full power. This is intensely awkward looking. I'm sorry about that. But here we are. This sort of makes uh, Delta Three look wonderful, doesn't it? Okay, launch escape system jettison. Well, now comes the tough part. Does the S2 on its own without the S4B have enough to push all this stuff? Okay, separation and ignition. Please be on the right node. Uh, no, they're stuck. Okay, can you blow it up? Blow it up. Good job. <laughs> okay, we lost a little bit there. Mm, it's a bit tight. Again, these are J2S's, though. Okay, well, I'm physical time warping and we're ending up a little bit high, so... It's possible with a more refined trajectory that this would have worked out better. Maybe leaving all nine engines on the core. Just to get the extra thrust weight ratio, but then throttling down is icky. Okay, this is all lopsided. So... We've got 2,700. It's possible we could eke out the extra... We need five, uh, 500 to be conservative uh, to get to the moon with this. And of course, there's no option for using the service module for this one because the service module really de does need to all of its fuel to do all the business with the lunar module as well, which is, you know, safely tucked in here. So, yeah, this was a little bit short. It was an experiment. I didn't know for sure how it would work out. Maybe we could put the S4B on top as well, but you know, that's getting a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? As if things weren't ridiculous enough. I'm gonna leave it here. You can experiment with your own beyond this. I think I've done enough. I've done enough damage. Uh, so with this, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.